something happened in 2020. It was slightly a bad experience for us. We had a certain this thing with some, we had a little fight. Of course, ultimately we were able to get everything this thing. But certain decisions were taken. And one of the decisions that was taken is we are going to completely indigenize our communication systems and 5G will not be imported from anywhere. It is necessary for our data protection, it is necessary for our communications, it was necessary for many security needs. At the same time, the country could not afford to lose the technology battle and remain behind and get decades behind. Chinese have taken over 22 years and spent about $300 billion for developing the 5G. We neither had that much of our time. I'm sorry, Chinese took about 12 years, not 22 years, 12 years. We neither had that sort of a time, nor even that sort of a money. Whom did we turn to? And that is why I said I owe a lot to Professor Kamakoti. We came and I, I, we talked with him. We wanted trusted sources. We wanted the, the system along with the private sector to work out. And within about two and a half years, India was totally indigenous. And today's 5G, there's nothing foreign in that. And we owe it to your IIT. We owe it to our private sector. We owe it to others. All contributed a lot. Today, it ensures Professor Kamakoti has put a system in place that every with a screw that comes that deals with anything which has got or which leads to the nation's security protection of the data protection or the any any anything that is it comes from a trusted source. It's either made in India or it is something which is made by somebody who is very close to India. It comes from a trusted source. That concept was just when he said, how do we make our system totally insulated from any enemy influence and others? And we said that we will work for that. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.